first we will have a super bantamweight championship match between Eric Morales and Angel Chacon. Tale of the tape. As you see, Chacon, a 27 year old. And Morales, 22. The edge in the height and reach goes to Morales. But he's a fighter that likes to kind of get on the inside from time to time and rumble. So he may not use that height and reach advantage as much as you might think there. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautioning them again. Obey my commands at all times. Shake hands, good luck. So we are set to go in this 12 round championship match. Eric Morales putting his super bantamweight title on the line, and there you see him. And his challenger will be Angel Chacon, a fighter from Puerto Rico, who is ranked number 10 by the WBC. Morales won the title in a thrilling match against the ancient one, one of the greats, Daniel Zaragoza, TKO. Uh, Zaragoza in the 11th round in 1997. He has held the title ever since, and as I mentioned, this is his fifth title defense. Now, Chacon is a lefty, but the man that he took the title away from, Morales did, uh, and Daniel Zaragoza was also a lefty. Morales is very effective at attacking left handers. Richard Steele is the third man in the ring. This is one of two WBC championship bouts tonight. Of course, the one that these people are mostly here to see is the one that we'll have toward the end of, at the end of our telecast. Oscar De La Hoya defending his title against Ike Cortez. Here in round one, Chacon tossing out some jabs, some feeler type jabs. Morales looking, waiting to attack. See Morales trying to get that left hook in. Very effective weapon against the southpaw. Good right hand by Chacon. Mentioned that he went 12 rounds the distance with Antonio Chimino, WBA champ at the time. Past the halfway point here in round one. Morales going downstairs to the body. And now about a minute left to go here in the first of 12 scheduled rounds. Morales using his jab a little bit. Now trying to stalk Chacon a little bit more, putting a little more pressure on him. Morales has, there's the straight right hand that he used so effectively against Junior Jones. You can feel Morales picking up the beat here and getting his distance, his punching distance a little bit better. And he is a good puncher, make no mistake about that. He can get you out of it. Most people believe Morales is getting better and better and that we haven't quite seen the best of him yet. And he ends round one attacking Angel Chacon, so round one is in the books. Okay, and we take a look back at uh, the first round. Morales on the attack, landing the straight right hand against the south one and continuing to punch. It's one of the hallmarks of Morales. He didn't stop punching, even though he didn't miss those. He was attempting to get those punches in. And he's not one of the guys that will punch and wait for a receipt, as a good friend Gil Clancy likes to say. It's his favorite phrase about fighters that don't throw combinations. Gil Clancy, by the way, will be working in the corner of Oscar De La Hoya. Later on this evening, uh, Clancy is uh, an advisor to Del Hoya. Comes in during the last couple of weeks of his training now and helps him out. Gil, of course, a legendary trainer and manager and also a great broadcaster. Morales 
chasing Chacon in the corner and whacking him. Chacon showing pretty good defense there because really good combinations by Morales. Big uppercut by Morales. Boy, he can work on the inside. He is a big puncher and whacks an uppercut to the head of Chacon. He has already got Chacon thinking about that power, and I mean big time. Got him pinned against those ropes, not where Chacon wants to be. Look at how efficiently and carefully Morales works to try and get these punches in. A lot of holding by Chacon. And Chacon languishes on those ropes. A bad place for him to be in, and even worse place now is the corner, which is where he is. Morales won't let him out of that corner, and he is making him pay for being in there. Eric Morales is a punishing puncher. And look at him work both the body and head. Good counter punching there by Chacon, but boy, he's going to need to get out of that corner. Big left hand, and down goes Chacon right in front of us. I think this fight is over. Yes, it is. Right above us, Angel Chacon was whacked with the left hook and an uppercut, and he is all but out here. Hopefully, he is going to be all right. They're trying to keep him here. He took the brunt of two powerful punches from Eric Morales, actually more than two. Morales getting Chacon pinned in the corner. The right hand is what did it, the left hook, and now left as he was going down. And that was the punch that really, I think, did additional damage to Angel Chacon. He wasn't down yet, so it wasn't an illegal punch by Morales. He might have held up with that one, but as you're punching, it's very hard to do that. So Angel Chacon suffering from the power of Eric Morales. I'll tell you what. Morales is a force in the super bantamweight division and maybe could be one in the featherweight division. In fact, in all likelihood, will be. And now you see Chacon's head hitting the canvas. That's what they're concerned about. Eric Morales is looking on, also concerned, wants to make sure his opponent's all right. Chacon is sitting up. He looks responsive, so that's a good sign. In the meantime, Eric Morales has once again for the fifth time defended his WBC Super Bantamweight Championship. Michael Buffer will tell us all about it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Steele waves off the count of 10 following the knockdown and calls a halt to this bout at one minute and 50 seconds of round number two. The winner, who will now on May 8th be fighting former world champion Wayne McCullough here in Las Vegas, he is still the undefeated WBC Super Bantamweight Champion of the World, the Tijuana, Mexico, El Terrible Eric Morales. So, Eric Morales gets the job done. This 22-year-old from Tijuana, Mexico, is now 32 and 0. He has defended his WBC Super Bantamweight title and notched his 26th KO. As Michael Buffer said, apparently it is now official, he will be facing Wayne McCullough, the pocket rocket, who is a former Super Bantamweight champion uh, in September here in Las Vegas. And that should be an exciting matchup as well. But for Eric Morales, a very, very big win in this sense. He faced a man that had gone 12 rounds with Antonio Chimino, the WBA champ, and he dispatched him much quicker. Eric Morales is in the ring, and uh, he will be interviewed by Larry Merchant. And we're going to have that in just a moment. Let's go up to Larry and Eric Morales. I thought of you mostly as a boxer puncher before, but it seemed you came out here tonight determined to score a quick knockout. Is that true? Siempre estamos te hemos considerado como un boxeador, y esta noche viniste como un noqueador. Bueno, este. Sabíamos que estábamos presentes en una función grande donde el público te ve en forma diferente a lo que he estado proyectándome en Tijuana, en, en plazas locales. Creo que pues, te, traté de dar una, 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 una 
demostración o mostrarme, Luis? I've, I've been exhibiting myself all over the place, but this is really a big event, and I wanted to make sure that I made a statement, and I wanted to go for the knockout. What is the statement you want to make in boxing? Uh, we commented at ringside that everybody has been looking for a successor as a hero in Mexico to Julio Cesar Chavez. Is that something you're trying to achieve, and do you think you can? Fue lo que tú quieras hacer en el boxeo, porque hemos estamos diciendo que hoy en día hace falta un sucesor a Julio César Chávez de México. Eso es lo que tú quisieras hacer hoy en día. Bueno, yo quisiera estar en el gusto del público, tratar de hacer mi papel bien, tratar de, de pelear, pelear, ganar y sacar buenos resultados que, le gusta, que la gente le guste. My ambition is to do well in the ring, to put up a good fight, win a, a, in a spectacular y, fashion, el, el, and make sure that people que like the fight. Lugar de, de Chavez va a ser con muchos años de trabajo, como un sólido campeón. And, and in order to equal Chavez's stature, you have to be there for a long time and have a lot of wins. Well said. Congratulations again, and Jim. Derek, go. Derek, go. Over here.